Game hunting season is upon us and the hunt is on. But what gaming goodness awaits me in the market today? Let's get into it right now. Back into the fray. An Xbox 360, 250 gig in the box and some games. If they aren't too high on the price, this could be a great start to the morning. How much you doing on the Xbox? Um, you get three games, the controller, everything's in there for 150. Okay. Good to know. Oh, 150 bucks. Okay, so two things. These consoles, even boxed, I mean, top of the mark, you're looking at maybe a hundred bucks as an online price. So unlike Mr. Rogers, she's not even in the neighborhood. And two, even these slim Xboxes at this stage of their lifespan have a very high failure rate. I've bought plenty of broken ones sold to me as working. You can't be too careful on Xbox 360s. How much you doing on these right here? $2 for the games, I mean, that's an awesome price, right? The problem is the only one out of all these I'd really want is uh, Forza Horizon 3. And from the looks of it, it's in pretty rough shape. Woo, that one's been around the block, hasn't it? Uh, if you think you can play, give me a dollar. Yeah, I, I can do that. I'll give it a shot. She came down to a dollar without me asking. So yeah, for a buck, let's just go ahead and break the ice. The Horizon games are a lot of fun, and I don't currently own any of them. Hopefully this one will clean up okay and work. Okay, there are a lot of games here. That's the good news. The bad news is they're all marked 10 bucks a piece with a Sharpie right on the box. But hey, that's what rubbing alcohol is for, right? We gotta take a look. Most of this is sports dookie, meaning that we're not the first visitors to this table. They do have some good wrestling games here. I mean, Showdown was a great Gen 6 wrestling game. If there were any others here I wanted, maybe I could bundle them up, but eh, no biggie. The hunt continues. Loose controllers on a mishmash table, that's always intriguing. There's an enhanced Power A Xbox One controller here. They can cost you as much as $20, even pre-owned online and an original NES controller, which in my opinion, you can never have enough of these. So great, and you know, tables like these, they're usually not too high on everything, but the problem is there's nobody here. Now maybe the seller went to the restroom, I don't know. Is it number one or number two? I just wanna know how much time I have. This market is just too big and has way too much going on for me to wanna wait around, you know? We gotta cover some more ground in the meantime. We can check back, but we gotta keep it rolling. How y'all today? Okay. How much you getting on this? Mm, I was trying to do in a bundle, but... Oh what, oh, what are we bundling? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, look at that. You got the weed. Yeah. Well, what did you want to do on that? I was thinking... 20. Okay, bundles are good. And 20 yeah. bucks is good, right? Because Wii Sports is, you know, a $15 game even by itself. I don't have the controllers I lost them. Yeah, that's so the only... I got the connection. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, I would do 20, yeah, if you've got that. This Wii is in rough condition. And there are no Wii motes, but he has two nunchucks and the rest of the hookups. So you got to count that in. That's okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm good with 20 for this and that. I'll do that. How much do you do on this, this one here with none of the parts? Uh, $8. Eight bucks for the other Wii console? That's not bad, I would do that, except I noticed one thing. The metal on the ports on the back are covered in green corrosion. This thing unfortunately has been stored somewhere where it came in contact with moisture for a long period of time. The other one wasn't like that, and the extent of the damage here is likely beyond what I want to deal with. What are you doing on your comic book? 
two for one. We got Marvel and DC Comics here, and I am big time into comic book collecting again, especially at these prices. Very cool. How much you doing on these games here? One dollar. One dollar? But we do have a stack of Gen 6 games sitting here. Man, he only wants a dollar each on these. He's got to see what's here. We may have some discs and boxes mixed and matched here. We got to check. Perfect example right here. This is not just dance. It's Mario Kart 8. So you do a dollar a piece on these? Mm, I'll do two for that one. Two for this one? I made sure he knew that was what was in there. I gave him the opportunity to come up. Uh, he did to two bucks, which is still fantastic for what it is. I'm still in, obviously. I actually need the Wii U version of this game back. I traded mine for top dollar when Deluxe came out on Switch way back when. Knowing the online action would eventually only be there. But I'm still actively collecting for the Wii U, and I do want this back just for the sake of it. Gen 6 Spy Hunter was a cool modernization for the franchise name, and I used to play it on OG Xbox, but I no longer have access to a copy of this game, and this one's super clean. As is this copy of Room Zoom, whatever that is. I guess they're going for a Micro Machines kind of thing here, I don't know, I've never heard of this game, but for a dollar, it's worth checking this thing out for hidden gem status, right? So seven bucks for a few rando games and some comics for the collection, man, you can't beat that. Okay, hold up. We got a Nintendo Switch Lite here on this table, along with a PSP and a PlayStation 2 controller. Now, I've seen Switches here in the past, but they're always damaged or too high on the price, or both. That's a PSP, yeah. How much you doing on this, my man? Thirty-five and twenty-five. All right, let's break this down. Thirty-five bucks for a Switch Lite—that's obviously a pretty good price, right? But there is damage to take into consideration. The right stick is missing the cap, not just the rubber, and there are a lot of scratches on this screen. And twenty-five bucks on a PSP—I mean, that's a good price. But I'm passing on it. And why? Because I bet I've bought somewhere between seven and 10 PSPs at this market in the past. And despite always being told that they work, they hardly ever do. It's just a problematic console at this stage of its lifespan. And being another mishmash table, I doubt this guy's tested these. Count that back if you want to. We good? Okay. How about the game there? Fine. All right, I'll take a copy of Ark for five bucks on the Switch. That game would normally run you around 20 bucks. Uh, and from what I understand, you know, I played Conan Exiles a good bit and they're supposedly similar in build. I haven't played Ark yet, but maybe I would like this. Dude had some other odds and ends, but I'm gonna leave those for somebody else. It's the Switch I'm interested in at that price. I'm gonna take a shot downfield on it. And I'm definitely hoping for the best. Will it work? Will this Wii console work? And will the seller at this table ever come back from pinching off a mean steamer? All those updates and more on the next episode. And if you wanna keep the action going, you can click right here and dive into another hunting video right now. MC Mer signing off for this fantabulous episode. I'll see each and every one of you again on the next one.